And in the case of Jeffrey Wright, this is a guy who, as you said, Savannah, he's a really accomplished actor. I, I, been, I wouldn't say I've been a diehard fan of his, but everything I had seen him in, I was a huge fan. I really liked him in Casino Royale. Um, in Syriana, I, I, it's been a long time since I've seen it, but I remember thinking he was great. And I know a lot of people who have seen that movie recently all had incredible things to say about him in that. And the fact of the matter is he's an exemplary actor and someone where they, they clearly went more for uh, acting ability than anything else. And I think that's terrific. Very excited. And, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't really be happier the more I thought about it with this choice. So count me fully on board. I'm even over the Tony Shalhoub thing because I think Jeffrey Wright honestly might even be better. Let's go Cheryl. <laughs> You know, I know I've seen him before, and I've seen him in the James Bond movies, and I've seen um, Angels in America, um, not the show. I was young. Um, but the um, the HBO special, and I, I knew I had seen him before. And you know what? Like, I don't know his work that well, and he wasn't what I imagined. I honestly, like, erroneously imagined some, like, old tottering, you know, like, white dude with, like, hair that looked like he got, like, electrocuted or something. Um, and even though it was, he wasn't what I imagined, he just seems like he'll do a great job because of um, all his awards and his talent. And also, I am so, so happy that they're not going to whitewash another film. I mean, there have been so many movies where... Every single character is is, is uh, Caucasian, and you know it just doesn't reflect. Um, at least it doesn't reflect where I live, being that I live in New York City. And it's nice that the movie should actually reflect uh, my real life, and that not everyone looks the same. And I think that it's great that with a character that where they didn't have enough, a lot of direction to go with as far as his looks, they went by talent, and didn't really worry about the color of his skin. So I'm very, very happy that he will be an addition to the movie, and I think he'll do a great job. Yeah, and in going with that, let, let's go to Crystal here. I want to get uh, your full opinion, Crystal, but I also want to ask you, and this goes for everybody, can we finally put to bed this ridiculous argument that Lionsgate has been whitewashing the cast? Because I thought that was the most absurd thing I'd ever heard, even from day one. And I'm just, I hope that this finally puts that to rest, because it is a ridiculous argument, which I could spend hours explaining why. But in short, Crystal, is this finally a dead argument? Um, I think Crystal, Crystal might be, well, I think she might be temporarily occupied right now. Um, but I, I want to say in response to that, I, I, I mean, I don't even want to talk about it, just because it's like opening a can of worms. But um, I, I think a lot of the people who have been complaining don't really understand the term whitewashing. Um, yet at the same time, you know, I've really been hoping that the cast would become a bit more diverse. So um, I'm definitely pleased with this casting because of that reason. But I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping it will put to bed a lot of those arguments, which are, I don't know, I don't want to say that they're, that they're without merit because they are. Um, but I, I think a lot of people confuse the term whitewashing, um, which is very dangerous because it, you know, it, it's not something to be taken lightly. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that, that we hear the end of it. So, yeah, that's that's my personal stance. Well, look, I definitely think there's, as you said, maybe there's some merit to it. But I don't think if you look at each individual casting decision and really the fact that Suzanne Collins has been involved with a good number of these decisions, tells me that the book is being represented in a way that she's satisfied with. And that's that's the biggest argument that, that I've had, is that if, if you think, if you're upset with the racial demographics of certain characters in the book, then that's the book. But when the movie is, is representing the book properly, then I don't know how you can accuse the movie, movie studio and act like the series is something different. So that's why I just feel very strongly about this. Of course, there, we did have a, a terrible episode of reverse racism, or not, sorry, real racism that was going on where you had plenty of people complaining about Amanda Stenberg 
and Rue being black, and that also was completely asinine. So I just hope that, that and maybe that they were thinking this in part too, that they had heard some people who had been saying this, and they thought this was a way to, to really fully put this to, to, to bed. And maybe I'm, I'm being a little bit strong-worded here, but um, I'm on top of the soapbox for this second, and I'm saying if you think this cast is whitewashed now, you really need to, to think about the rational argument that you're making because it's just not true. Teresa, I give you the floor to say as much as you possibly want to about Jeffrey Wright. Oh, okay. I want to make sure I had the topic clear because I because you just <laughs> I was, sorry. Um, Tackle no, any okay. and all topics. <laughs> well, I can. No, Savannah won't me going there. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, I, honestly, I I spent um, when I got the announcement. I was at work, so I got the announcement on my phone, and I'm like looking at it. And I'm like, who is this person? And then I keep seeing all these different. Um, messages going by and trying to look into it. And I could not see the picture. The picture would not come up. I had no idea who it was. I'm like, well, I was just excited. I'm like, I don't care who they are or what they look like. We have BT. So I didn't care. <laughs> um, but I still, I, I, the only thing I, I, I vaguely remember him from the James Bond movies, but that's about it. But uh, it, it honestly, you know, I didn't care who it was as long as we got somebody. And to have that, you know, that final, this major piece of the puzzle, you know, you know, filled in, and it's, you know, it's great. I mean, in from what I can tell, you know, you know, everything I've seen is, you know, I can't even talk tonight. But uh, he's majorly talented, and I mean, anyone who can go through and, you know, win three awards for one performance, I mean, you know, we're we're in safe hands. So I'm. I'm <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and and Teresa, I, I think I think um, you will go, if you do go back and you watch more Jeffrey Wright films. I'm confident, and I think Savannah is probably confident about this too, that uh, you will be even more delighted <laughs> with the choice of Jeffrey Wright as you continue to see his acting prowess. I do want to read something that I thought was was pretty funny, and I actually tweeted this during the week, so I apologize if anybody's seen this already. But I sometimes like to read the IMDb bios, which are written by fans for different actors. And I thought the one written for Jeffrey Wright was really funny because this is clearly somebody on IMDb who has an unbelievable amount of respect for Jeffrey Wright as an actor. So I'm just going to read this out loud. It's about as positive as anything you could say about him. Quite possibly the most underrated and underexposed actor of his caliber and generation Jeffrey Wright's undeniable talent and ability to successfully bring to life any role he undertakes is on a par with the most praised and revered A-list actors in the business. So if people are saying that about him, and obviously that's one fan's perspective, but it is on the cover of imdb.com for Jeffrey Wright, that is a pretty glowing endorsement if I've ever heard one. So I think we're, we're in good hands, at least according to this one person. Ellie... Let's see if we can get an opinion from you, and then we'll go to Mary. Mary's not um, here. Oh. Why do I? Why am I confused with who's on from... Okay, who is on from down at the Capitol? Teresa, Ellie, who is the... And first? Flo. You forgot about me. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Flo. How could you forget I, about Flo, uh, Adam? I, I, I never forget about Flo. Out, I'm not going to I think about Flo all the time. I've never forgotten thinking about you. I, we, I don't know how I, how this happened. <laughs> I will make it up to you throughout the night. show. <laughs> okay. I promise. I think about Florida playing Florida State every night, and then you get into into that mix. Because I, I <laughs> just feel bad knowing how you're going to feel in, in November, and I just I don't want you to be so sad and depressed is really what it comes down to. But, no, so let's go with Ellie first, and then we'll go to Flo. And then I think... We have Crystal back, so we will be able to go to her for final opinion. So, Ellie, you're first. Um, so he's another one that I'm not too familiar with. I've actually never watched all of any of the James Bond movies. I hope nobody wants to hurt me for that. Um, I did see Source Code, and I vaguely remember him from that. But, I mean, I'm happy. Like Ariel was saying, he wasn't how I pictured him, but... I see nothing against it. 
when I saw it, I said, like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm excited, and he does have a nice following, and I've heard only positive things about him. So I'm excited. Shockingly, nobody seems to have anything bad to say about Jeffrey Wright, and I'm not surprised because I, I think he has never done anything in a movie to give anyone cause for concern. And that's a pretty good endorsement I think you could give for anyone. Um, Flo, you have not been forgotten. You've also had <laughs> now a lot of time to be neglected and then rediscovered <laughs> on the show. So what do you think about all Lick this? Lick my wounds. Uh, <laughs> I um, also have not really seen anything that Jeffrey Wright has been in, but I have read Angels in America and just kind of knowing that story and the uh, – kind of how that story goes and the acting that would be involved in bringing that story to life and then knowing that he got awards for that story that, like, I'm all set. I'm completely convinced. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be good. Interestingly, when I first saw his picture, like, first thing I thought of was, like, little round glasses and him kind of, like, hunched over. And I'm like, oh, he's going to be, like, great and ready to get all out like BB. So I'm excited. Well, I think the scales are tipping heavily in favor of Jeffrey Wright at the moment. So for those of you detractors, I'm sorry, but you're losing this battle. Um, but we do have one person left to go to, and we also will have, have Kate at some point. But, Crystal, I think you are now back with us, and yes. I'm sure having plenty to say. So, Crystal, what do you think? <laughs> well, I have to admit that I was actually a little disappointed at first, and it was because, I guess, since we had waited so long for this, I was kind of expecting somebody I would know right away. So when I saw his name, I was like, who's that? And I had no idea, and I had to go look it up. And, you know, once I saw him, I was like, oh, okay, I know who that is. Because um, he, he's just one of those actors where you see him in a lot of movies, but it's not in, like, a huge role. So you kind of know him, but don't know him really by name. So that's how it was for me. I was just like, oh, okay, I know who that is. You know, so after that, I was a little, I, I was, I, I was able to like look at everything, and I, I've actually seen kind of a lot of his movies, and it was actually um, funny because my husband actually taped Source Code that very same day that it was announced, and I hadn't told him or anything, so he just he he was like watching it in the living room that evening, and I was like, what are you watching? And he's like, Source Code, and I was like, really? <laughs> So that was kind of funny, but uh, so I'm gonna probably rewatch that again soon because it was a while ago that I saw it and I don't really remember his role very well. So uh, I don't know. I, I gotta go watch a, a few of his movies, but I think there's one where he's with another of the cast members. I don't remember what movie that is. Yeah, um, it's uh, I don't know what is. It? I know what you're I, talking I, I, about March. though. Yeah, it's Ice of March with Philip Seymour Hoffman, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, well, I guess I'll share my thoughts really quickly, and then maybe Kate will be on. Um, I'm really, really, really excited about this. I never had any actor really in my mind for BT except Michael Emerson, and I think we all knew that that would never happen. Um, and, you know, I, I was excited about Tony Shalhoub, but we found out that he is doing that Broadway play, so we, I, I sort of just assumed that the scheduling would not work out. So I was really thrilled to, to find out that, you know, Jeffrey Wright had been cast as BD. And it was weird because just a week or two ago, um, I watched Source Code for the first time. Um, so it was it kind of was crazy that this actor who I'd just seen in a movie um, was cast as BD. And I loved Source Code, by the way. If you guys have not seen it, Oh my gosh, it's it's so amazing. Duncan Jones just he's he's the director. He just continue continually um impresses me and I kind of want him to direct the Mocking Jay movies now, but um yeah, I'm really excited about Jeffrey Wright. He's such an extraordinary actor and uh he's the kind of actor who I feel really sort of slips effortlessly into the characters that he plays. Um, so you see him in a movie, and, and even though he's been in so many different movies, you never really look at him and think, well, that's Jeffrey Wright. You look at him, and you really see the character. And I was reading um, I was reading an article about him somewhere. I don't know if it was an interview with him or an article about him, but um, 
it, whatever I read or whatever I saw, uh, talked about the fact that for each of his characters, he really um, sort of takes on new mannerisms and creates, you know, a new voice for the character. So I, I think for BT, we'll probably, um, you know, see him maybe speaking a different way. And, and uh, I know in the books, BT is described as like twitching. So we'll probably see some really, um, you know, interesting mannerisms come out. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. 